The product rule is a useful rule for differentiation when you've got two sub-functions which are multiplied by each other. So here's an example which is perfect for using the product rule. We've got two sort of little functions which are multiplied by each other to give the total function. So what we can do is label each sub-function with a variable name. So I'm going to call the first sub-function u and the second sub-function v. Now when we're differentiating y, what we're trying to find out is dy dx. So we don't know this yet. We can use the product rule to help us. So the product rule says that dy dx equals du dx times v plus u times dv dx. So we already know what v and what u are. What we've got to find out is what du dx are, is and what dv dx is. So first of all, let's try and find out what du dx is. Well, we've got u equals 3x squared plus 2x because u describes the sub-function in the first brackets. So du dx is fairly easy to work out. The two, the power of 2 comes out the front, so we get 6x and the power goes down by 1, so it's x to the power 1, which is just x. 2x, when you differentiate, just becomes 2. So that's du dx. Next thing we've got to work out is dv dx. So how does the other sub-function vary with x? We don't know it yet, but we know that v, if we check our first equation or function, v equals 2x to the power 4, 2x to the power 4, there you go, minus 5. So dv dx is going to equal, well the 4 comes out the front, so we get 8x and the 4 reduces by 1, so we get 8x to the power 3, and the 5 is a constant, so it just disappears. So now we can go back to our original product rule, which is that dy dx equals du dx times v plus u times dv dx. Now we know all four bits of this, so we can just substitute things in. Now notice I'm leaving lots of space because this can get quite long. So du dx equals 6x plus 2, v equals We've got it up there, 2x to the power 4, minus 5, so that's the first half done, plus, now u is, I have to check up, u is 3x squared plus 2x. So write that down. Remember to put it in brackets because all of u is multiplying the next thing, not just the last bit. And then dv dx, we've just worked out, is 8x cubed. So now we've just got to simplify this expression as much as possible. Remember, you're always trying to give your answer in as simple a form as you can. So let's try multiplying out all the brackets. So 6x times 2x to the power 4 is 12x to the power 5. 6x times negative 5 is minus 30x. 2 times 2x to the power 4 is 4x to the power 4 and 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. Now we can move on to the next half of it. 3x squared times 8x cubed equals 24x to the power 5, and 2x times 8x cubed equals 16x to the power 4. So we're getting somewhere, we've just got lots of terms. Now we can group terms of the same, so we've got a 12x to the power 5 and we've got a 24x to the power 5. Together these make up 36x to the power 5. I'm going to put little ticks to show that we've already added those together. We have a 4x to the power 4 and a 16x to the power 4. 
So those add up to give 20 x to the power 4. We have just a 30 and minus 30x by itself, so minus 30x. And we also have a negative 10 all by itself. Making sure to tick off everything, so minus 10. And that's your answer.